Good day, it's Tony Fortune out from the technology firm. I want to show you a neat little trick I use in Wireshark when I want to do some reporting. Basically, I've got a trace file here. It's a VoIP conversation. And I want to be able to visualize or graphically troubleshoot this. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Statistics and I.O. Graphs. And there it is. So basically, when you get your default uh, I.O. Graph, you can see it's called packets per tick or packets per second. Uh, this this is okay to help visualize where things are, but I normally don't leave it like this. I like to do a few little tweaks. Uh, right now I can see this plateau here, this sh big shot up, a lot of traffic. It's, this is probably the call, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to um, press graph 1. Obviously the chart's cleared, there's nothing being graphed. And I'm going to use uh, SIP as my display filter. And then as soon as I do that, I press the graph 1 button, and now I can see the SIP traffic. If I was to come here and click on one of these peaks in the background, you can see, there it is, SIP request. It's even highlighted for us. So that's a really neat way of jumping around a trace file. Now I want to go a step further here. I also know the soft client has some web elements to it, so I'm going to create an HTTP graph, and you can see now it's overlaid, the red being HTTP and the black being SIP. If, on a network perspective, you want to know how much traffic this is in relationship to bandwidth, you might want to change packets to bits per tick. So now we can see there's 50 kilobits, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. So now I can see the scale and I can see the utilization of what I'm doing. Lastly, I'm going to add the actual traffic, RTP. And when I do that, now you can see the phone call. So now I can see uh, again, the red was web, the black was SIP, and the green was RTP. If I want to put this in a report, a um, common thing to do is hit the Save button. The thing with the Save button is it saves it as a graphical file, and I really can't manipulate that too much, but it's kind of a quick and dirty if I want to throw it in an email or a quick report. If I want to be able to manipulate this, what I'm going to do is hit the Copy button. When I do that, it's going to copy all the data in a comma-separated value format. Then I can go to Excel and simply I'll use my mouse instead of my keystrokes. Paste, and there you go. Now, unfortunately, it's all in one cell, so we need to take this a step further to parse this out. Data, text to columns, delimited by comma. And you can see here it's formatting it very well. So I'll just hit finish. Now I can see my interval, which is the time. Graph 1, this is where you need to pay attention to what you did over here. Graph 1 is SIP. 2 is HTTP and 3 is RTP. So I might want to come up here just so I don't forget, because I probably will. HTTP and RTP. There you go. So now I've got it all in Excel and I can do my own graphs. So I'm going to select these three columns. Insert. Uh, let's do a line chart. What the heck. And there you go. So that's a really easy way to have Wireshark do all the hard work for you and the heavy lifting, and then you can come back and create a very simple chart. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.